Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the details about EM of equation of an alternator. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic, EM of equation of the alternator. Alternator, construction, operation, other details are separate video available. Link is available in the description box. Now let us consider Z is number of conductor per phase that can be written as is it equal to 2 t t is nothing but number of turns per phase p is the number of poles f is the frequency of induced emf in heads pi is flux per pole in weber n is rotor speed in rpm kd is nothing but distribution factor Kc or Kp is coil span factor or pitch factor. Kf form factor 1.1. For sinusoidal waveform it is 1.1. So these are all the parameters based on that we can go for the induced EMF in the, of the alternator. Time taken to complete one revolution is dt is 60 divided by n seconds. The general formula. To complete one revolution, it requires 60 divided by speed of the motor. In one revolution of rotor, each stator conductor is cut by a flux d pi equal to p into pi. Right? The flux cut by the flux is nothing but number of poles into total flux. So therefore, average EM of induced per conductor is nothing but d pi by dt. d pi is p into pi dt is nothing but 6 by n, 6 divided by n. This denominator n will go to the numerator. So, p pi n divided by 60, d pi by dt. Average EM of induced per conductor is p pi n divided by 60. Now, we will see what is the n value. We will we'll try to substitute the n value. But we know that n equal to 120f by p, synchronous speed equal to general formula. 120f by p. Now we can substitute n as 120f by p. So p pi by 60 into this n is replaced by 120f by p. p p got cancelled. Here 60 is there, here 120 is there, it will go two times. So it is 2f pi is the resultant, 2 pi f voltage, average EMF per conductor. Now we will go to the next step. If there are Z conductor in series per phase, the average value of EMF per phase equal to 2 pi F into Z. That is multiplied by number of conductors. We know that Z equal to 2T, so it is replaced by 2T. So 2 into 2, 4. 4 F pi T, average EMF per phase. After considering all that conductor everything, 4 pi F T. Then the RMS value of EMF per phase is form factor into average value. For sinusoidal voltage, we know that form factor equal to 1.11. So 1.11 into 4 F pi t. So 1.11 into 4 is 4.44 F pi t. So the RMS value of EMF induced per phase is 4.44 F pi t voltage. Now we will go for the further discussion. This is the actual value of the EMF if the coil is full pitched and concentrated. So there are so many windings are available, full pitch, short pitch, concentrated winding, distributed winding. So this is applicable only if it is full pitched and concentrated. If it is, if it is short pitched means the value is different. It is applicable only for full pitch concentrated. Now we will see if it is other short pitch mean what is the modification in the above equation. But if the windings are distributed and coils are short pitched. Earlier case concentrated winding full pitch. Now distributed winding short pitch. Then the EM of equation is multiplied by the two factors Kc and Kd. Kc is nothing but coil span factor. Kd is distribution factor. Right. So, 
EMF per phase equal to 4.44 KC into KD FIT. Earlier we have only FIT, 4.44 FIT. Now it is multiplied by KC KT. Now we will split this 4.44 as 4 into 1.11 again. So into KC KD into FIT. This 1.11 is nothing but form factor. So 4 KF KC KD into FIT. This KD KF is nothing but form factor. For sinusoidal wave it is 1.11. Right. Now we will see this KC and KD. What is the value of KC and KC? K, KD. KF is available here. Form factor. First we will see the KD value. KD is nothing but EMF in distributed winding divided by EMF in concentrated winding. So it is given by the formula sin m beta by 2 divided by m sin beta by 2. What is m? Number of slots per pole per phase. Beta is angular displacement between the slots. So from this formula we are able to find the KD value. Now we will see the next one. So this beta is given 120 divided by n. n is nothing but slots per pole. So from that we are able to find the value of KD. KC is nothing but cos alpha divided by 2. What is alpha? 180 minus actual coil span of coil. That is alpha equal to beta into number of slots by which the coils are short pitched. Right? So we are able to find KF form factor 1.11 followed by KD distribution factor then coil span factor KC. These three are multiplied in case of short pitched winding. Now we will see the lim uh, advantages why we are going for short pitched coil. Less copper is required. Eliminates high frequency harmonics so that waveform is more sinusoidal. Eddy current and hysteresis losses is minimized. Already copper minimized means losses also minimized. This increases the efficiency. So these are all the advantages. Now we will see the expression for frequency. Induced EMF. Frequency of the induced EMF. Induced EMF expression we discussed. Now we will see the frequency. Let us consider P equal to number of poles. N is speed of the rotor in RPM. F is frequency of the induced EMF. F only we need to find. One cycle of EMF is induced when one pair of pole passes over it. So the one cycle of EMF induced, there is a one pair of poles passes. The number of cycles of EMF produced in one revolution is equal to number of pair of poles. Right. So this EMF produces the definition is given based on that number of cycles per revolution is P by 2. Number of revolution per second is N by 60. Now based on that we will go for the further derivation. So we know that frequency F is nothing but cycles per second. So F equal to cycles per second that is written in it is rewritten. Revolution is introduced. Cycles per revolution into revolution per second. Right. So this revolution is multiplied and divided so that the value will not changes. So this this multiplied revolution is multiplied and divided. So cycles per revolution is P by 2 that we discussed. Revolution per second is N by 60. So finally it is P N divided by 120 cycles per second are heads. So F equal to number of poles into N divided by 120. Right. Now we will see the one more definition synchronous speed. What is the synchronous speed? It is the speed at which alternated must run in order to generate an EMF at the required frequency. We know that synchronous means it is almost constant speed. Always it rotates near constant speed. That's why it is given must run in order to generate. So n is equal to 120f by p. That is the general formula. It is depends upon frequency of the EMF divided by number of poles. This number of poles decided in the construction itself. So it is 120f by p. Always rotate in the same speed. 
so that is called a synchronous speed so in this video we discuss induced emf of a alternator first it is concentrated winding and full pitch means first we discuss the equation that equation applicable only for concentrated and full pitched winding if it is distributed and short pitched winding mean we have to multiply with the factors kc and kd also kf form factor then kc and kd values are discussed followed by we will discuss the frequency of the induced emf and synchronous speed subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening all the best for your examination